you could see the determination in Wes Leonard's eyes last night as he made his dream come true. A triumphant moment for the six foot two inch kid from Fenville who nailed the winning shot in overtime. And then after a brief celebration on the court, it all suddenly and irrevocably stopped. The jubilation of the crowd, including his parents, giving way to concern and then horror as the high school junior collapsed unresponsive. This afternoon, his coach recalled the agonizing moment. And I was just about in the locker room. I, someone was screaming for me. And, and, that, and that, the, just the scream of someone calling my name like that, I knew something was probably wrong. Paramedics could not revive him. And two hours later, he was pronounced dead due to complications from an enlarged heart. It was an abnormality neither his coach, his family, nor anyone else in this town of 1500 knew about. That layup Wes Leonard sank just hours ago gave his team a 20-0 record, a perfect season that will long be remembered as tragic. Everyone recalled a gifted two-sport athlete and more. Wes Leonard was the quintessential All-American kid. Uh, that small town boy, the quarterback, um, the basketball star. He was always like a happy person, like he was never sad, just happy, 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 happy. <laughs> his coach remembered something else about the boy he called his friend. He had a just a unbelievable passion for what he was doing, like whether it was uh, sports, um, his friendships. He was so healthy. Just, I don't know, it shouldn't have happened. Tonight in this small town, they mourn an athlete dying young. Dean Reynolds, CBS News, Fenville, Michigan.